Stephan Follett. From ABC News, live in Times Square, Friday, May 10th, 2013. This is Good Morning America with Robin Roberts and George Stephanopoulos. Happy Friday, everybody. George off today. Great to have Josh here by my side. Paula Ferris here as well with us. And we are counting down to one of our favorite GMA traditions. So good. We're standing by, of course. It's our live Mother's Day spectacular. Emerald's breakfast in bed. And there he is with his small army <laughs> traipsing through a neighborhood. Don't say anything if you see them outside. It's no going to be a good one. That. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> Certainly not the cheerleader. No. But before we get to all that, we begin with new details right now about the terror those three young women, Josh. Mm. It is one of our favorite things that we do at GMA, and it's about time to give one lucky mom the surprise of a lifetime. Emerald is live. I don't think we can tell you where, but there's a palm tree, and there's a crowd of people in the neighborhood. Look outside your window, but tell no no one if Emerald is out there because the surprise is later this morning. You see the size of that crowd that's out there. <laughs> the and, and so, I know. That is ahead. But first, that shocking twist. Just taking a little well-deserved time off. Great to have Josh here and Paula Ferris as well. And all week long, we have been celebrating our heroes with our huge live You're Not Dreaming. And it has been terrific, and it has all been leading to this. Moments away now from the ultimate surprise. As long as small armies don't surprise you. Emerald's Mother's Day breakfast in bed. He is clearly on the move right now, getting ready to give a special mother the surprise of a lifetime. And Emerald, we've actually got someone here who's very excited to see you, our dear friend, Rosita from Sesame Street. I think she wait, might actually think yeah. your big surprise breakfast oh, in bed is for her. Wait a minute. I'm sorry, Rosita. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Is Mr. Emerald making me breakfast in bed? Ranchettos, please, and orange juice. Hi! Bam! Bam, Mr. Emerald! That will kick it up a notch! Yes! Oh, yeah! Oh, Go, Rosita! Oh. She is Flawless. funny. Bam, Mr. Mr. Emerald. Emerald! I love it! Yeah. I love it! Also, in a few moments, you know, we saw uh, the moving vans that were mm -hmm. coming up yeah. the... So we've got a brand new neighbor on Sesame yes, Street. Everybody do. does, so we're gonna tell you... Bad event for one lucky mom. She's got no idea that Emerald is about to surprise her for a beautiful Mother's Day. All coming up right here on Good Morning America. GMA's Morning Menu is brought to you by the makers of Cal... Coming up, Emerald's Mother's Day Breakfast in Bed, brought to you by Thomas's, the original Nooks and Crannies English Muffin. Oh, the patch of Broadway Farms. <laughs> Look at this great crowd that we have with us on a Friday. And we're Bob Knight. <laughs> all right. We have been looking forward to this all morning. It is one of our favorite events of the entire year. Emerald's Mother's Day Breakfast in Bed celebrates an exceptional mom. As always, we receive thousands of entries, everyone worthy, filled with such moving stories. And the one you're about to see is really special, particularly to me, and you're going to find out why in just a minute. So let's go to Emerald, who's been sneaking up to our winner's home, followed by our winner's friends and family, all here to celebrate her. Emerald, time to knock on that door. Hey, Robin, I'm in Sanford, Florida, right outside of Orlando, and a very, very special lady, Nicole, is getting ready to get surprised. Nicole Moore, let's go do it. Well, here we come. We're coming right up to the door right now. Nicole Moore. Here we go. Here we go. Hi, are you Nicole Moore? Yes. Hi, you know me? Uh, yeah. Well, let me tell you, you have, you're the winner of our Mother's Day breakfast in bed. Really? Yes. And you know what? You're live on Good Morning America right now. Oh my God. So, Nicole, if you don't mind, we would love to just put a little microphone on you because America wants to know just how special you are and what you've done for your family. Okay. Are you ready for that? Sure. All right, okay. <laughs> Let's go right over to this little monitor right over here. And my good friend, Robin Roberts, she's got something that she wants to say. Okay. Okay? Okay. Here we go.
it should have been the happiest time in Nicole Moore's life. It's her heart that makes her such a wonderful mom and a wonderful friend. She was married to her high school sweetheart, Lee. We always had the same goals. We always knew we wanted a family. And they had Lauren, an energetic bundle of bright red hair and smiles. And in the summer of 2011, they had another baby on the way. My sister was so, so excited to have another addition to their family. But as summer ended that year, that perfect life quickly and painfully fell apart. Her world got turned upside down pretty quickly. After weeks of being ill, Lauren wound up in the emergency room. We were able to do some blood work fairly quickly and found out that um, she had leukemia. And that was tough. That was tough. It was a shocking diagnosis. So shocking, Nicole started going into early labor. She was in one hospital, across the street, her baby girl, in the children's hospital. Nicole all along had dedicated herself, you know, right from the beginning to, to make Lauren well. Nicole's two-year-old little girl, smiling even through chemotherapy. Nicole never, ever hesitated for Lauren, not one minute. She was always just so determined that this is gonna work and I'm gonna give everything I got that it, it focused everybody. Nicole hardly left her daughter's side. She's just laying there. It's, it's hard, very hard. And Nicole was up all night of every day trying to research and uh, she just worked relentlessly. All the while taking care of newborn Tommy at the same time. I think that she gets so much credit for keeping her family intact when it could have easily fallen apart. But soon it was clear the chemotherapy was not going to be enough. More than 99% of children will be in remission at the end of their first month. Unfortunately, Lauren was not. Doctors said that Lauren's only hope was a bone marrow transplant. We all knew where it was going, but once someone finally said it, it was just stunning. They basically told us it's this or nothing. If this doesn't work, we don't have the answer. But then, finally, a piece of good news. Doctors found a perfect match for Lauren, an anonymous donor in the National Bone Marrow Registry. The doctors were very nervous because their disease was still very aggressive, but they all agreed that we couldn't wait. April of last year, just eight months after her diagnosis, Nicole and her family held their breath as Lauren got her transplant. One day I got a text and it said, Lauren has counts. <laughs> which meant the bone marrow was working, and that was a big deal. Big deal. A year later, that beautiful little redhead now thriving. From a medical standpoint, she is absolutely perfect. Last year, at this time, I think Nicole's only thought was, I just wanted to have a third birthday. And now she gets to think about college and getting married and all of those things that you're supposed to get to think about, about little kids. So this Mother's Day, Good Morning America and Emma Lagasse celebrate a mom who carried her daughter and her family through the hardest time of their lives. Happy Mother's Day, Nicole. You're an amazing mother. I know our dad's looking down on us and he's smiling. I'm truly proud of how you've taken such wonderful care of my grandchildren. I just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for being the best mom to my beautiful niece and nephew. Happy Mother's Day. I love you, Mommy. Mommy. Well, Nicole, happy Mother's Day. Thank you. <laughs> how are you feeling? Well, you know, it's been a, it's been a rough last couple of years, but, you know, my daughter is alive and well, and that's all I could ask for. And There's a lot of love in this family for yes, you. Yes, I see that. Well, I have to share something with you. Hey, Lee, how you doing, my Good. friend? Good. I got to share something. The lady that nominated you for this, it's your mother-in-law, Sally. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, Sally, are you here? <laughs> Happy Mother's Day. Oh, no. Sally, how are you feeling right now? Oh, Did you ever think this was going to happen? Oh, no. A 120-word submission in a picture. And ABC heard our story. And if I understand this correctly, we have made our mess, our message. 
and I'm so proud of my daughter-in-law. She's amazing. She's worked so hard to get her family through this. Yes, I couldn't have. be happier. Thank you so much. Well, you know, I've got a lot of surprises for you. It's just, just warming up right now. Okay. Are you ready for the biggie? Sure. All right, one biggie. All okay. right, come on with me. Let me have one. You ready? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Oh, my Check this God. Out. Look at this. In just a moment. Oh my gosh, she was. Uh, oh, what a story. But there is more. I know I haven't told you guys this. We have a surprise for Nicole. Oh, she is going to meet somebody for the first time that is very, very special to this family. So that's coming up. Now it's over to you, Sam. <laughs> you, can't, you can't have a better Mother's Day weekend than that. Oh. I don't know how she's going to eat. Her stomach has to be in flips right now. Right. Perfect time to remember that moms work hard, but moms that have ill, injured, or special need kids work a thousand times harder. And, and to keep that family together, so we, we salute you. Um, let's get to Fort Lauderdale. Why not? We'll show you Target. But let's go back to Florida because we're not done with this yet. Look at that. Huge crowd in the yard. The Disney family in the yard as well. Oh, there's this fantastic surprise coming up when Emerald introduces so well deserved. someone else. Stay with us. Hi, are you Nicole Moore? Hi, you know me? Uh, this uh, is the moment. You. You have, the moment Nicole Moore was surprised by Emerald. I think stunned. Can you imagine like you're, you have no idea and Emerald shows up at your door and you're like, uh, <laughs> she is the big winner of Emerald's Mother's Day breakfast in bed. We are paying tribute to Nicole because she was a rock, holding her family together when her precious little daughter Lauren was sick with leukemia. And I know there's a lot of people out there right now, but Nicole, this is this is Robin Roberts. Can you can you hear me? Can you hear me, Nicole? Yes, I can hear you. Yes. Okay. I can hear you. Great. Well, first of all, congratulations. <laughs> yes. And when your mother-in-law said, make your mess your message, it just literally took my breath away. But we want to know, how is Lauren doing these days, Nicole? How's Lauren? Oh, she's fabulous. She's like a normal little girl. We couldn't be happier with how she's doing, you know. We're, we're just enjoying being a, n a normal family, you know, taking swimming lessons and going to the park and excited for her to start pre-k in the fall oh wonderful well she looks as healthy as can be and <laughs> yes. you've got a lot of love and support there uh nicole and i see yes. uh, yeah yeah <laughs> but there's somebody very special in the crowd and i want emerald to bring her up right now you are about to meet for the first time the young mom who saved oh your daughter's God. life kristen oh, yes. Isinger, <laughs> the bone marrow Robin. How you guys doing? Okay. <laughs> Nicole, what is it? That, right? Nicole, Kristen? what is it that you want to say to the woman who saved your daughter's life? <laughs> there's, there's no words to, to describe how grateful I am for her. You know, she's what she did for a complete stranger is just amazing. She's my hero, and I just, I just love her so much. Oh, it'll be a bond forever. And, and Kristen, how does it feel for you? You're holding Lauren, and and how do you encourage others to, to register and be a donor? Everyone just needs to go sign up. It's, it's so important. We'll be a mattress here as well, and uh, hopefully we can do that. 
uh, by the end of the day and get some people signed up uh, as you did. It's very I special. I know you have some surprises for them too, Emerald, now, don't you? Well, I'll tell you, Robin, and everybody out there in America, we have a few surprises. First of all, I just want to say that our good friends at Thomas's English Muffins were so inspired by your story, they're going to give you a check for $5,000. That's, uh, okay? That's, that's... Thank you. No, I got to tell you. And then they were inspired that Thomas's English Muffins is not only going to provide your family, but Kristen's family with breakfasts for an entire year, okay? <laughs> And then our parent company at Disney, my good friends, guess what? They're gonna open up the Magic Kingdom for both your families to go spend some time together and have a great time with all of them. But most importantly, okay, it wouldn't be breakfast in bed without breakfast in bed. <laughs> so now, we, you hold a check. Right. Nicole, you get in the bed, okay? <laughs> And why don't you take a seat by it, Kristen? Thanks, Chef Bernard. All right, blueberry pancakes, oh, candy oh, bacon, wait a minute. Thomas's English muffins, of course, and a beautiful fruit salad. All right, for both of you. Oh, thank you. Two very special moms. What can I say? <laughs> oh, you want a bite? Lauren, you want a bite? All right. Well, what can I say, Robin? Back to you, my friend. Breakfast in Bed, brought to you by Thomas's, the original Nooks and Crannies English muffin. I've been... Oh, no. More Americans choose ABC News to see the whole picture. It's ever